Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial. The release of Runtime 1001, which was approved by Governance and went live on December 9th, includes a number of changes related to staking. In this video, I'll be discussing the most important changes demonstrating these changes in apps.moonbeam.network. Now, one of the first changes is that nominators are now called delegators, and likewise, nominations are now called delegations. You'll see this updated language on apps.moonbeam.network, as well as in our documentation. Secondly, there are a number of parameter changes that you should be aware of. Previously, a round was defined as 300 blocks. It's now defined as 600 blocks, or approximately two hours. The next major change is that revoking or reducing a delegation now has a delay of 24 rounds, or approximately 48 hours. I'd like to do a quick demo of the changes in apps.moonbeam.network. I'm on Moonbase Alpha, but the process is exactly the same for Moon River. So with this new runtime upgrade, the process of choosing and delegating to a collator has not changed at all. However, the process to revoke a delegation or reduce a delegation has changed. First, reducing a delegation now takes the same number of rounds as revoking a delegation. Previously, if you had more than the minimum delegation amount of five mover, you had the ability to reduce your delegation and immediately gain access to those reduced tokens in your free balance. As an example, if you had eight mover delegated to a collator, you could reduce that delegation to five mover and immediately have access to three mover. This is no longer possible as reducing your delegation will be subject to the same delay as revoking a delegation. And secondly, revoking or reducing a delegation is now a two-step process consisting of scheduling and execution. So previously, there was a waiting period to revoke a delegation, but after the waiting period passed, the execution step was automatically handled by the protocol. Now, when a delegator wants to either decrease their stake or revoke a delegation, first they need to initiate a request to do so. And you can do so by clicking here on unbond funds. You'll see a little warning message that says this action will be scheduled for the next two rounds and then it will have to be manually executed. This is because we're in Moonbase Alpha. However, this action would take 24 rounds before it will be able to be manually executed on Moon River. So as an example, let's go ahead and unbond four tokens. I'll confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And now we have a pending decrease request. Now, once the exit delay period has passed, this is 24 rounds or two days in Moon River, the delegator can execute the action. A delegator can cancel a request at any time, so I can go over here and cancel this request. However, the clock will start over and I'll have to go ahead and initiate another request uh, if I'd like to modify my delegation. After the waiting period has passed, you can return to apps.moonbeam.network where you'll be able to execute the decrease request. So here you can see the execute request button is clickable. So we'll go ahead and confirm this transaction in MetaMask. And our transaction is confirmed and we have our four tokens back into our free balance. Similarly, you can revoke a delegation by following the same two-step process. First, initiating the request to revoke and secondly, executing the revoke transaction after the exit delay period has passed. We spoke about how there are two steps for revoking or reducing a delegation. One is the initiation step and two is the execution step. Now for step one, only the owner, as in the owner of the funds of that delegation can initiate that request. However, for step two, the execution step, anybody in the protocol can actually fulfill that execution after the exit delay period has passed. Let's take a look at how this works in practice. I have a delegation here to a collator with a pending decrease request that's ready to be executed. Now I could execute this in Moonbeam apps here as the owner. However, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to show you how I would do it from a separate account. So here in Polkadot.js apps, I have a sample account that's funded with one dev. And here it is on Moonscan. You can see there's no funny business going on. It's just a simple account with one dev. There's no other staking transactions or anything else on this account. Next thing I'll do is go to developer and go to extrinsics. Then I will choose the parachain staking palette and I'll choose the method execute delegation request. This method takes two parameters. One is the original delegator. So let's go back to Moonbeam apps. Here I'll copy the address of the original delegator and I'll paste it into here. You can see that it is different from the sample account here that we'll be sending the request from. And next we need to choose which collator candidate. And here I will copy the address from Moonbeam apps. 
and we'll paste it in the candidate box. And that's it, we're ready to submit this transaction. I'm gonna unlock the account with my password and sign and submit the transaction. And that's it, the transaction was successful. Now, you may not have any desire to use this method. I just wanted to show you for the purposes of demonstration, and so you get an understanding of how the protocol works. Now, one good way to think about this might be that if you're on an airline and you've just landed, there's lots of rows in people in front of you, you need to wait your turn to get off. But once you've waited for all those rows of people to exit in front of you, now it's your turn to get off. If you choose not to, there are gonna be a few people who might be upset about your decision not to leave when it's your turn. And so the protocol has a built-in function to allow others to execute a request where someone has specifically initiated it, but has not fulfilled the execution step. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to reach out in our Discord if you have any questions about the new staking changes. We'd be more than happy to help you.